What's going on, photographers? We are back at it, and I want to let you know that I'm here to bring you a super dope video. I'm going to show you how to do the spotlight effect in Photoshop. If you don't have a spotlight effect at home, this is really a snoot, but we all know that's a spotlight effect. So I'm going to show you how to do it in Photoshop. That is no problem. But before we get started, make sure you download my free editing training for you because I want to make sure that you edit better. So don't forget to download the editing training. It's in the description. Also, you download the editing training, download the retouching actions as well. That is very important for you to have to be able to retouch faster, better, and smarter. So let's hop straight into it. I have a picture. This is a picture I want to use. Now, the snoot effect is, of course, a circle. So to be in a circle, the first thing you want to do is, first of all, always duplicate your layer, whatever layer you're on. Now, you want to come over and you want to use what is called the elliptical marquee tool. And what the elliptical marquee tool is, it allows me to draw a circle on uh, my layer to be able to create what I want. So what we want to do is choose the elliptical marquee tool. And if you don't know where that's at, Come to your search bar and type it in right here at the top. It'll take you straight to it. Choose your elliptical marquee tool. And what you want to do is make a circle that is big as you want it to be. So I want my circle to just tap the leg just a little bit all around the head. So let's see how bad, how smooth I can do that. And we can drag. You always drag your circle around. That looks pretty good to me. Now, the next thing you want to do once you make your circle, you want to invert this layer. Now, you want to go to select, hit inverse, right? Once you do that, you want to come down to the yin yang symbol. Y'all know I call it that. And go to solid color and choose a black layer, right? Choose a black layer. Now, of course, this does not look correct. So what we want to do is one, we want to lower the opacity of this. So I'm going to lower my opacity just until you can kind of see the legs just a little bit to where, of course, with spotlight is only focused on a certain part of the body. So what you can do is lower the opacity as best you can, but I'd like to do it to where you can kind of still see the legs. So let's go 50%. And now the most important thing is you want to click your layer mask, right? You want to click your layer mask because this edging is too sharp, way too sharp. You know, it looks kind of fake. Now, what you want to do is go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, right? And look at that. <sighs> That's money. You can play around with how blurry you want it to be, of course. I want mine to kind of still have the circle, but, you know, not show too much. So we're going to go about this 45.8 now once you do that you are all done so remember what you want to do is make a duplicate layer all right use the elliptical tool draw your circle as big as you want it once you draw the circle make sure it's a black layer lower your opacity go to filter blur gaussian blur and let's say you want to change your circle up what you can do is just drag it and make it bigger or smaller it's all up to you how big or small you want to make it but that is how you do the spotlight effect in Photoshop if you don't have a snoot on hand. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I am currently on day 17 of dropping Photoshop videos 30 days in a row. And I've been feeling very discouraged because I don't, I'm not seeing no fruit yet. <laughs> but I am faith-based, so I do believe that. You know, you reap what you sow, and all I need to do is focus on being diligent and not focus on the outcome. So for everybody that watches my channel, has been watching, thank you, um, because sometimes, most of the times, it definitely does get real discouraging, and I just appreciate you guys that watch um, and that learn from me. So be sure to download the free editing actions that I have below, the free editing class, and I will catch you tomorrow.